Among the rushing waters of the Metropolitan Council's Empire Wastewater Treatment Plant, a unique garden is in bloom. We deliberately decided not to go with like um, all of one kind of plant or too many plants because we wanted to have something that was pretty at all times of the year. This garden sits on a special piece of property, the roof of one of the treatment buildings, creating a living green roof. A green roof is a roof that's covered with vegetation, but it's not as simple as just throwing dirt on a building and putting plants on it. This is a very engineered roof. It's structurally designed to bear the weight of the plants, special soil, and cups that store rainwater for the plants to use later. All this design work began years ago when the council made plans to double the size of the plant to serve a growing population. We um, look at the plant within the fenced perimeter of the plant as like a little watershed. The watershed is a unique one. The Vermilion River runs next to the plant, and staff knew that any changes made to the plant would have an impact on the river. They wanted that impact to be a positive one. The Vermilion River is a designated trout stream. It has a very healthy population of brown trout. For a stream to have trout in it, it has to be quite special. It has to have very cold, clear, clean water. And so it was our goal to both protect that trout fishery and if we could improve it. Improvements to the river have happened, thanks in part to reduced water runoff. The Green Roof has met another goal, serving as a demonstration model for others in Dakota County. And the benefits continue to mount. They really reduce the temperature of a roof. So these plants on the roof soak up all the heat of the sun and um, it, that can really reduce the amount of air conditioning that is necessary to cool a building and the amount of energy necessary to cool a building. Money savings, a more efficiently run wastewater treatment facility, an improved environment. These are just some of the many benefits the Metropolitan Council sees in these small flowers.